How you doing guys? So last time I went over access modifiers, which are these private and public keywords. What I'm going to do now is tell you about something called the constructor. And a constructor is the code that gets executed when an instance of a class is created. So at this point here, when we said person equals new person, the code that gets executed right there. So let me show you. So I'm going to get rid of these functions. They're from the last video. And I'm going to get rid of these two lines as well. I'm going to keep this from where we create the person object. But in here, underneath where we've got this private name property right there, I'm going to create a constructor. And a constructor is basically just a function. So you declare it the same way, public function. But the name of it is slightly different. The name isn't just constructor. It's underscore, underscore, construct, like that. Underscore, underscore, construct. So that's two underscores there, okay? And this is the built-in function name for the constructor in PHP. So if it starts with two underscores, you know it's a out-the-box thing that comes with PHP. You didn't have to make it. So anyway, in there, if we just say echo person was created like that, you're going to see, oh, put a semicolon too. You're going to see when I do this, person equals new person, it's going to echo person was created because this code was executed immediately as this person was created. So what's the point in a constructor? Well, a constructor is good because you can do any initialization you need to do before you start using your object. For example, in here you could set the person's name, their age or anything like that, anything you need in order to move forward. So what we can do is set the name. So we can say this name equals Reese, like this. Okay, and now the person's name will be Reese. But obviously hard coding a name like this doesn't make sense. So what we want to do is pass a value into the constructor. So we can pass values in. I can just say name like that. And then in here we're just setting it to be name, which is this one. All right. And then when I create a person, I have to specify Reese like this. Oh, can't even spell my own name. So Reese. So when I refresh the page, you won't see anything. But what it's done is we've created a person, we've passed in this value and the constructor has received this value and set this property up here to have the value Reese. And if I change this name to public so we can just access it really easily, down here I can just say echo person arrow name like this and you will see the name is Reese. And we don't have to just pass in one value, we can pass in multiple. Maybe we have the same thing, so I'm going to do copy and paste that name but this one's going to be age, so I can pass in name and I, here we'll also take an age value and then we'll do the same thing below. We'll say this age equals age like that. And this age comes from here, obviously. So when we create this person now, we want to specify two values. We want to say age and then we want to say how old they are, 23. Okay, now underneath that, if I echo age now instead, you're going to see 23 right there. So what we've done is we've created an instance of a class and the constructor has been used to initialize that instance with some values.